ரஷ்யன் ஃபோக்லோரிஸ்ட் அண்ட் லிங்விஸ்டிக்ஸ் அனதர் மேஜர் ஸ்ட்ரக்சரலிஸ்ட் விளாடிமர் ப்ரோப் பி ஆர் ஓ பி பி விளாடிமர் ப்ரோப் லெட்ஸ் சி ஹிஸ் கான்ட்ரிபியூஷன் சோ விளாடிமர் ப்ரோப் நவ் ஸ்ட்ரக்சரலிசம் கோஸ் டு ரஷ்யா அண்ட் ஃபோக்லோர் சோ ஸ்ட்ரக்சரலிசம் ஸ்டார்டட் வித் சஷூர் லிங்விஸ்டிக்ஸ் பிராட் ஃபீல்ட் செமியாலஜி தென் வி ஹாவ் லெவிஸ்ட்ராஸ் ஆந்த்ரோபாலஜி நவ் வி ஆர் மூவிங் டு ஃபோக்லோர் ஃபோக் ஸ்டடீஸ் you know uh, uh so this guy vladimir prop came up with this book which is his masterpiece still read by folklorist morphology of the folk tale and the word morphology a uh, structure when you say structures it's more to do with syntax morphology is uh, individual forms right the morphemes we study individual word units so similar way we are going to look at story units of folk tale when we say folk tale you know there are a lot of folk tales uh, across the world so first attempt a kind of a structuralist attempt so we are going to study the basic units of a story and uh, vladimir prop uh, studied russian folk tales in general so that was his focus more slavic folk tales uh, russian right so he came up with 31 narratives like phoneme morpheme when we say em short form so narratology art of storytelling narrative story so narrative basic unit of a story 31 so number 1 so in this book uh, the earlier book morphology of the folk tale there is a particular chapter called the functions of dramatic personae okay so here he talks about some of the features narratives one more thing i have to tell you this is not the order in which you have to create folk tales a particular folk tale need not have all the 31 narratives you have to understand it, this is a general idea kind of a competence okay kind of a repertoire uh, 31 narratives sometimes a particular folk tale uses 3 or 4 sometimes more than 4 or 6 right you go beyond 10 so there are different combinations but what, the list we are going to have is a general one like a competence or lang okay so this is a kind of a lang so number 1 any folk tale or some folk tales you have this feature first one absentation so one of the members of the family absents himself from home this is one of the features what happens so if there is a family then a uh, kind of a hero and uh, his mother and the father is missing and mother says you know what happened kind of a flashback now the son goes on an adventure to retrieve the father back uh, who is imprisoned somewhere else right so this happens in folk tales or stories in general a son or a daughter tries to save the family or the other way round okay or other way you have the son or girl is uh, abducted a childhood and they try to save or try to find out that so this is one of the features absentation then interdiction this is another feature you see often in uh, stories folk tales or other tales and interdiction is addressed to the hero in the sense interdiction is a warning for instance when you say interdiction a hey, you should never open that closet you should never open this you should never do this so we have this um interdiction in the sense warning for instance you have this famous a uh, french tale blue beard uh, uh, you might have heard this uh, folk tale blue B E A R D. He is a cruel man, but uh, he has married a wife. I mean, new girl here now, and only one warning. He gives the now the bunch of keys to uh, keys to her, and tells her never ever open that room. That key, that arouses our curiosity, right? So that's how uh, one of the features in folk tales. They give a warning: don't do that. Don't no. Don't go beyond this land. so that that is one of the features you should never cross this bridge uh, you should never go across the bridge so then there is this curiosity but we know third one violation the hero the protagonist will definitely violate so here in this french tale the wife out of curiosity she opens that room and what she finds out dead bodies of the earlier wives of this man now she understand her husband is actually a murderer a kind of a misogynist now she has to plan well to escape from him or she is going to die like that so what's her fate find out 
Then the fourth one, reconnaissance. So reconnaissance, during the situation, we get a villain. Villain coming and kind of taking a survey, right? Villain makes an attempt at reconnaissance. Like uh, maybe you can think of uh, Satan on Paradise Lost. So when we say Paradise Lost, first certain comes, Satan comes, taking the form of uh, toad or other forms, kind of a surveillance, okay? He makes the map of uh, uh, the paradise. Then he goes back, then he comes back as a different serpent, right? So villain first comes and survives. So that is one of the features. Then fifth one, delivery. The villain receives information about his victim. Okay, for instance, Satan gets to know, oh, this guy is Adam, Eve, they are together, they have certain things. So how to, so whom to should I approach? Eve or Adam. So information about the victim. Or for instance, think of Aladdin. Um, so Aladdin's uncle, not uncle, real uncle, some magician comes in the form of Aladdin's uncle because um, uh, he gets the information, his uncle is living somewhere far away. So he takes the form of the uncle, he comes and uh, uh, lures Aladdin. And that is a trickery, sixth one. The villain attempts to deceive his victim in order to take possession of him or his belongings. So in the story of Aladdin, the uncle, the magician comes in the form of the uncle and speaks to the mother and borrows this boy. So he needs some help, okay? Then complicity, what is complicity? You, I mean the victim or the protagonist believes um, in the enemy submits to the deception and thereby unwittingly helps the enemy. So here we have the story. Anyone, what is the story you see on the screen? You have a girl letting go or letting down. Rapunzel. Uh, yes? Rapunzel. Yes, Rapunzel. So you have Rapunzel. So this story is famous. And what is the story? And you have some of the features here. Here is a girl, Rapunzel, who is abducted by this witch. So first one, absentation. She is abducted and put in the tower, right? And only one warning. What is the warning given to her by the witch? You should never allow anyone. You should never allow uh, any, uh, let out or let go of this uh, hair, long hair. Only if I whistle and say the code, you have to put it down. So that's how another protagonist comes, learns the password and goes up, okay? And here, and Rapunzel thinks that which is actually her mother. So kind of a deception. She submits to the deception. Later, she comes to know about her. Then villainy. The villain causes harm or injury to a member of a family. So kind of a thread. If you don't do this, I'm going to kill your mother. So kind of a thread. Next one, lack. So generally there is a lack. I mean, whenever a hero goes for a quest, you need something, something is missing. Uh, by the way, there are a lot of lacks. For instance, in some stories, uh, there is a <clears throat> princess who is very sick and you need this medicine to cure the princess. So you need the hero to go for a quest. What is lacking? The medicine is lacking. Sometimes the child is lacking. Someone has abducted the princess herself. The heroes, they go to rescue that girl. So that is this feature, 8.8. A. One member of a family lacks, either lacks something or desires to have something, All right? So that is one of the features. Third, ninth one, meditation, the connective incident. What is that? The lack is made known. So for the first time, uh, for sometimes they don't know there's a lack or the misfortune. The hero comes to know, oh, my father was killed by that guy. I'm going to kill that guy. Or okay, I have to get that. So the hero is approaching with a request or a command. Maybe the king says, whoever gets the medicine back, I will allow that guy to marry my daughter. So we get this guy. So the hero is allowed to go and he is dispatched. Then uh, 10, beginning counteraction. The seeker agrees to and decides upon counteraction. So the journey begins now. And 11th one, the departure. The hero leaves home. But it's tough. Leaving home is okay. But he doesn't have, or the hero, uh, she or he, doesn't have enough uh, uh, you know, wealth to get that adventure correct. So the first function of the donor. So the hero meets some helper, some donor. So the hero is tested. For instance, a hero goes to a land where a magician says, okay, you have to work in this workshop. 
for two years. After two years, depends on your performance. I will gift you with something, right? So that is kind of a test. So we see this in movies. The hero is tested, interrogated, attacked, which prepares a way for his receiving either a magical agent or helper, like a genie, right? Then the thirteen, the hero's reaction. The hero reacts to the actions of the future donor. Sometimes he fights, or sometimes he submits to the donor, and whatever uh, he he or she says, says. Then fourteenth, provision or receipt of a magical agent. The hero acquires the use of the magical agent, like a genie. Right? Aladdin gets that. Uh, you know, he goes to the cave, and he gets that lamp, and he knows the truth, and he rubs out, and here is a donor. Okay. Then fifteenth, now the hero gets an agent, but the hero is yet to you know go to the uh, destination. So the hero has to move from one kingdom to another kingdom. So the hero is transferred, delivered, or led to the whereabouts of an object of. So you have a flying carpet or a horse. You get some means of transport to move from this place to another place. and with the help of the donor or that magical object you move then the struggle then you meet the villain in that strange land the hero and the villain join in direct combat then in that fight first the hero is wounded in a branding or marking that is a 17th narrative uh, a kind of a mark you know he is wounded victory finally the villain is defeated right Then nineteenth liquidation of misfortune or lack. Finally, he gets the initial misfortune or lack is solved. He gets what he wants. The hero gets. Then the return process is very quick in any movies for that matter. Or the initial process, how they go, you know, he, uh, the he meets a donor, gets a magical instrument, a kind of a transport, fine. But return is very quick. The return uh, hero just comes back, and. on the way there are a lot of uh, problems pursuit or chase the hero is pursued by other villains or the major villain then the rescue of the hero from pursuit so he fights and tackles or hides so here is only a rescue someone rescue the hero and the he, uh, that guy or girl hides the hero from the villain and then um, now Uh, 24 23 unrecognized arrival now the hero comes to the land back unrecognized in the form of a servant or a maid or a cook and they don't reveal their identity the hero is in disguise now arrives home all right then when the hero is back he finds out there is someone who pretends to be that hero or who claims i was the one who rescued your daughter princess please uh, marry off your daughter to me unfounded claims so another villain a false hero presents unfounded claims the job is done by the real hero but someone claims right and now hero has to tackle that situation then 25 difficult task now the hero has to prove himself sometimes they are asked to break a bow like in ram ramayana or some other task you have to yel kadal dandi pono or you have to cross the seven oceans or seven seas some tough task is given and finally a uh, solution the task is resolved and because of that the hero is recognized so that is recognition and the false hero or villain is exposed they are also in disguise the exposure now hero is rewarded the hero is given a new appearance no longer a cook so the hero is given a home wealth and get married kind of a situation and punishment the villain is punished and finally kind of a wedding happy ending the hero is married and ascends the throne so these are the 31 narratives by prop velodimer prop okay i hope it's okay so this is a structuralist analysis